Hey guys and uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going up to Myesco College um, to the International Arena to have a flatware clinic with a lady called Pam Pricker. She is a bit brutal. Well, she used to be. She used to teach me when I was in college and that was about 10 years ago. So whether she's still as brutal as she used to be or maybe she just didn't like me, I have no idea. But let's hope A. Bambi behaves B, we can get something positive and some good work out of her. And C, Pam doesn't tell me I was as, as I was 10 years ago when I was in college. So I'm going to take you along. I don't know whether I'm going to do this in one video or I'm going to do the three clinics in separate videos. But I was thinking probably one, depending on how much footage we get. I don't know how boring it'll be for you to see three videos of similar clinics. But we'll just see what each one's like and then I'll go from there. So come along with us and see how we get on. So when we walked into the arena, I initially thought, oh God, I've overfazed her, what have I done? I can't get her near the mountain block, she's just tense, she's unsure, there's loads of horses which she's not used to, which is why when we went to dressage, we couldn't warm up because she was just so uncertain and so lacking in confidence of riding with, a horse, with other horses, which is why I was so adamant we needed to start doing these clinics to get her used to it. You will quickly see... In the first couple of clips how unsettled she is with the contact how she was very forward which was nice Um, she was uneven with the contact and we came to the conclusion very quickly what Pam did I tilt my shoulders forward I don't sit up straight and I am quite pulley with my hands I've got not enough relaxation basically in my elbows me forearms and my hands and we, I could also feel when she was making changes, tension in my lower back, which obviously also wasn't helping. So when I learned to relax, the difference in Bambi was actually amazing. So I am going to do my best to not say much. I'm just going to leave all the raw footage so that you can hear Pam. She will obviously be talking to other people as well. But I'm not going to say anything apart from by the end of this session, I was so buzzing. Wait till you see the canter. Thank 
She did. <laughs> yeah. Reality, of course, it doesn't load. She loaded on the way here. Now she's knackered, she doesn't want to come home. Hey, 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 hey. Well, that. Afternoon ended up being longer than it needed to be. We left at quarter to four because the lesson was at five, and it's now 20 past nine getting home. 45 to 50 minutes later, Bambi loaded to come home, but she was 
insane i can't even believe like that was the same horse into comparison to the jumping video um pam didn't say that and a few little tweaks of just like my body position my leg position relaxing through my arms a bit more and she was a different horse i thought she was gonna blow a top because there was like six other horses in there and when i walked in i couldn't even get her near the mountain block and i got on and I only had one foot in the stirrup and she was trotting off with her head like shaking like this and I was like oh this is going to be horrendous and I didn't realise all the dressage boards were going to be out either so yeah I am absolutely buzzing with her I thought I was going to cry at one point because I was so chuffed with her uh, which sounds pathetic to some people but she was just like a different horse so now I just need to try and contain what we learned today and also put that into when I'm jumping her as well but will definitely be i know we've got two more booked in but i'll definitely be booking some morning because she was just fab i am absolutely buzzing so i hope you enjoyed i hope it was nice for you to see a forward and happy bambi and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i will see you in the next video guys